Hi everyone, in this video I want to cover how to add an LTE cellular communicator to the Vista 21 IP control panel. Since the current Vista 21 IP does not support the new LTE 21V snap-on communicator board, you have the option of changing out the panel to the new Vista 21 IP LTE or to add an external LTE communicator to replace the onboard 3G communicator. This video will cover the steps for the latter. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using an LTE IV communicator and a 21 IP that's not mounted in its enclosure. It is recommended to do the replacement through AlarmNet 360 first before swapping the hardware. Once you are logged in to AlarmNet 360 and have the account pulled up on the programming page, Use the drop down on the right hand side and choose Replace Device. Click the blue arrow. Your account information will be pre populated. Click Next. Enter in the new communicator's MAC address and CRC, then click Next. Enter the MAC of the 21 IP. This is located on the sticker on the panel itself and not the onboard Vista GSM module. Select the reason for replacement, then click Next. Select your AlarmNet package, then click Next. Verify all programming is correct on the final window and click finish. Now on to the panel. Power down the 21 IP and remove the Vista GSM. The onboard radio has three plastic posts that keep the communicator secured to the socket. When removing the communicator, pull directly away from the panel. Next, take the jumper on the left hand side under the ethernet port and move it from the top two pins to the bottom two pins. Next, connect your new communicator to the ECP bus on the panel. Always reference both the communicators and panels installation guides for wiring configurations. Once the new radio is connected, you can power up the panel. The last thing we need to do is send data to the communicator and register. Back in AlarmNet 360, with the device pulled up on the programming page, choose Send Data from the drop down menu on the right hand side, then click the blue arrow. Please be patient as this process can take several minutes. Use the refresh icon to confirm when data has been sent. Once data has been sent, choose Register from the drop-down menu on the right-hand side, then click the blue arrow. Again, this can take several minutes. Locally, the green and yellow LEDs on the radio will flash in unison during the registration process. In AlarmNet, use the refresh icon to see updated status once registered. That's it. The onboard communicator has been successfully replaced with an external LTE. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.